first thing I'd like to accomplish in my award is to get a real plan for the Aldershot Mobility Hub. Um, we have this great mobility hub in our community and there's a lot of opportunity there to do it right. It hasn't, it's, it's just started yet in terms of development. We have our first residential development being uh, completed by Addy at the moment and uh, there's going to be a lot more development and we need to see a good combination of retail, employment and uh, residential all within the mobility hub. So that's kind of my first order of business and al along with uh, Plains Road. There's, uh, there's a lot of retail opportunities, there's a lot of uh, plazas that are being sold and converted to uh, residential and I would like to see a good mix of retail and residential in our community. The first thing I'm hoping to accomplish in Ward 2 is to bring our community together. We can do that by committing to civic engagement and treating our neighbours and businesses with a little extra kindness. The first thing I want to do in my ward is help um, Ward 3's constituents uh, work towards having a splash pad in Brant Hills. Um, they came to me during the campaign uh, over and over again because there are so many young families uh, in Brant Hills and there's nothing within walking distance and I think it would uh, really help them out and really uh, improve their uh, quality of life uh, in Burlington. Hi. One of the things I love about Ward 4 is the wonderful, unique neighbourhoods that Ward 4 has. And one of the first things I'd like to do in Ward 4 is to build upon the character studies that have happened in Roseland and Shore Acres and Indian Point and encourage other neighbourhoods around Ward 4 to utilize the resources that we have in those communities and those neighbourhoods to create new character studies. I think that there are a lot of really interesting neighbourhoods in Ward 4. I'd like to really work on building the community of those neighbourhoods and the community feel and protect the neighbourhoods. Uh, one of the things that's really important in Ward 4 is to balance growth with making sure that we protect the character of the, the neighbourhoods in Ward 4. Right, the priorities for Ward 5 are really to look after seniors. We need to have um, income adjusted housing for those seniors who have less income. Uh, we need to make sure we have uh, uh, a recreation centre for them and we need to make sure we have wellness programs for them because seniors are a significant group in our population. But the other thing we got to do is we got to get rid of that cut off uh, highway from the highway traffic congestion. So the first thing I want to accomplish in my ward, it's Ward 6, is we are establishing four community advisory groups in the four distinct areas of Ward 6. One in Millcroft, one in Hidden Forest, one in Alton Community, and one in the rural area. So, so this way I get the feedback directly from the people that I work for. I prefer a house party. There's nothing like a good house party. Uh, you don't have to, uh, you're not at a bar spending tons of money. You're, you're typically with your good friends and family and uh, take an Uber home and uh, that's the end of the night. Nothing like a good house party. For breakfast, I had a Turbo Americano from Tamp on Brant Street and uh, near our village square in downtown Burlington and two Brazil nuts uh, as recommended by my naturopath. I think my dream vacation would be a uh, trip around the Mediterranean. Uh, hitting all the different countries along there. Probably stay in Italy longer than anywhere else. Actually, I probably wouldn't get past Italy, but that would be the idea, to go a uh, trip all the way around the Mediterranean. If we're totally up to me, definitely Star Wars. But if I want to stay married to my husband, I better say Star Trek. James T. Tiberius, or James Tiberius Kirk, rocks. The person I want to have dinner with, i got to give you a quick background first of all. Does everyone know what Kopi coffee is. No, it is the most expensive coffee in the world. It sells for about $500 a pound and it is 
It comes from a Vietnamese weasel's poop. I want to have dinner with the person, the first person who actually followed this Vietnamese weasel and decided to make a business out of this. Wouldn't you want to have dinner with a guy like that? Great marketing and great funds. Come on now, the Rolling Stones, the most audacious, most audacious singer ever, Mick Jagger. How can you not love that?